So give me give me the uh, <coughs> the uh, the major differences between being here and being home in terms of uh, touring. There's no Denny's. No Denny's. Well, of course I'm not a big fan of Denny's, but uh, when you grow up in America, because you sort of use that 24 hours service. You know, it's always a 7-Eleven. Oh, you don't have this right here. I mean, I'm not complaining. There's no complaining at all. It's just different. For example, I mean, the orange juice here is as far from freshly squeezed as I am from Southern California right now. It's like, right now, it's like actually burning my stomach. But then again, I could have got up a little early and had breakfast, but I figured nine o'clock was, was early enough. Got it, so that's your main, your main difference between the two. Danny's. No. Yeah, well, it's, it's a different culture. That you, I mean, Europe is uh, thousands of years old. Different cultures, you know. That's too many years to you, mate. Oh, definitely. <laughs> that was good. Pito, the biggest differences between here and home? <laughs> on the uh, underarm sport. No. Girls don't, girls don't shave on the arms. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. No, all you gotta do is just turn the off. Ignore helping. What's the difference between this biggest and the difference? States? Biggest difference. Biggest that difference that you realize from being out on the road here. I didn't. I didn't realize the difference. Yeah, it's obviously different because you know, I didn't see no difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the worst. Well, difference. I didn't. I don't know. The kids are screaming. I don't know. Uh, in terms of just living. Going out in the street, looking to the right, and the car comes from the left. Well, of course, we're only talking about the UK. Okay. That could be a fatal difference, you know? Huh. Rock and roll is a universal. That was a good language. question for you. I fucked that one up. There's a, a million things. Anything in terms of hotel rooms, shopping, uh, food. The donuts in Europe, I mean, because uh, Vito likes his donuts and coffee, you know, like when we leave after the hotel to go to the next... Good to see they're getting some yeah, attention nowadays. Yeah. Huh? Pastries is different. You know, beers like this, pints. <laughs> it's big. Oh, definitely. What about you, Greg? Uh, I gotta go along with James on that. He always does. Yeah. <laughs> what do you find in terms of? I know this place is way more expensive. Have you found anything in in Europe in general that? You can't find cheaper Is that in more the expensive? Uh, the common cold is a hell of a lot cheaper here. <laughs> <laughs> the common cold. Yeah. It's just that the dollars are weak. I mean, it's... If the dollar is strong, it would be fine. The dollar is weak. Yeah, scorpions. <laughs> yeah, plenty more scorpions for the dollar, too. That's weak, but we have scorpions. Scorpions. I found two things here so far that are cheaper than the oh, cheaper than, than, than they are in the states. Bookers. <laughs> that wasn't one. Okay. Not that idea. Really? Good, good answer. <laughs> good answer, James. Not that much cheaper. Nothing cheaper. You guys haven't found anything cheaper. I don't buy anything. I brought everything with me. I got scared. I got scared. Phone calls. Oh, oh forget it. The phone. Terrible. Ten cents here. Yeah. Well, who who uses phone booth when you use the hotel? Who are you going to call in Luxembourg, for Christ's sake? Well, I mean, you never know. And video games are cheaper. Video games? Who play video games? Well, what? It was Me and Greg. Uh, lag up better. Ten pence, so it's what? Twenty cents a vid. That's cool. Twenty cents a vid. I can dig it. Too yeah. cheaper. But so they're old games. They have, like, Galaxy and stuff like that. I mean, none of the really new stuff. You can't play NARC. For like 10 cents. 10 you see the new game the guys got down in the back? Well, the guys got a new game in the back. So it's like the old crappy game. It's like asteroids. Who cares? My dad had that once. Yeah. Sat in the toilet for a week. That <laughs> must have hurt. <laughs> you could hear him screaming through the door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is. 
Well, the French, man, they love to put cream sauces on everything. You know what that does to your stomach with those rich cream sauces? Mm. I could just imagine if Napoleon won the war, all of Europe would be covered in this big, rich cream sauce. But I would not eat that. It would be terrible, don't you think? I'd much rather eat this. Yeah. In Europe, they have these, these bratwursts that look like they've been used. They're terrible, yes. man. Not even so much that, it's just like they've been eating once and they're just like, well, give me another sausage skin or something, I'll, I'll take care of this. I have this thing called blood sausage, you open it up, and it's like, it looks like something from Reanimator or something, it's really gross. But as our, as our buddies, the extremes pointed out, I must give them credit, there's always the American Embassy. Golden Arches, McDonald's, right, around <laughs> every corner. Very cool. That's who we got, I think they... But they have like, Mc dog burgers here. They're like different. Yeah, the Mc, McSchnickson and things yeah, like that. It's really strange. And they put mustard on everything. They don't know how to do anything. Mustard in your Cokes. As a matter of fact, we're on a train back to America. Yeah. It's the big new tunnel train, right? Going to a pool of liver. Liver pool. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. A pool of liver. I'm really curious to see why they named this place Liverpool. Liverpool. Maybe sound? we'll find out today. I'm not having anything to eat, that's for sure. <laughs> It's not Southern California, let's just put it that way. I wine once a day, once a day only. I haven't done it yet today, it's time. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, James Lomenzo whining about the weather. Right. I just want it to be warm, that's all. It's done. Well done. Work is what? What, because it's May, no, it's June for Christ's sake, right? Well, not for Christ's sake, for anybody's sake. It's June, it's well, summer. Christ too, he has a, he has a, He's got to say, that's kind of interesting. Let's hope. Let's hope. That's true, the, the, the surfer hit the beach, you're always on the beach, are you not? I've been that way for years and years and years and years and years and years, as far back as I can remember. Being a little bambino in Brooklyn, I used to ride all the way down to Brighton Beach, not the one here, the other one, and sit there and toast my little worries away. I've been able to toast those little worries away, so I'm very worried. He's got some very uncooked worries at this point. Cows. Very raw worries. Cows. More cows. Still, still more cows. Still more cows, right? Yeah. As you can see, everything is a lot greener here because it rains a lot more. But uh, at the same time, you know, I think it's quite intriguing being in Europe because there's so much more culture. And there is more to rock and roll than just 7-Elevens and uh, Denny's and 24-hour room service. I mean, you ever seen a castle in America? White castle. There are plenty of castles here, you know? I love Europe. People are great, except for the French. <laughs> <laughs> right, the rock kids are great. It just seems like the hotel, 
people you gotta talk to, you just don't wanna talk to. You don't speak the language. What do you mean, the people who run the places? Standing by a hotel and stuff like that. They just don't like uh, English speaking people. Well, you, were, you were even born on this side of the world, pretty much. That's you, why I'm so much more home here. But you wouldn't move back? I would move back. Try me. <laughs> No, I mean, it's like, this is the first time that we're spending, you know, some more time in England outside London. It's like everybody goes to London, everybody goes to New York City, but you get to see Boise, Idaho, the real America. I mean, we get to see the countryside in England, it's beautiful. I mean, it's like it really has a lot of what to offer, and it wasn't because of the taxes. Probably a lot more people would live here, because it really is a beautiful country. I thought that was a neat, uh, very neat change. Something I, that I'd never had a chance to see was that you had done in the States. <laughs> How are they traveling? It's cold. Gee. My God. Gosh. <laughs> that was the crew train. And just blew right past us. This is like the first time we really have... <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure they travel on a separate train. That was almost as good as the Indian Tui comment. <laughs> you know the Indian music in the Indian restaurant we last night? Frank, you still tuning. Tune the fucking thing. <laughs> It was so funny. Oh, okay. I'll talk about this song before I die, please. <sighs> okay. Mm. Well, with four records out, it really calls for a great live set. Now we can really pick the best songs from each album and really, uh, I mean, the, the live set is heavily focused on main attraction, of course, because uh, we feel a big urge to play all the songs from uh, the album. We can't play all of them yet, but, you know. But so we just decided to do a Cry for Freedom in a different version, just me doing it with uh, with a new on stage keyboard player, Bird Diaz from. Uh, where's he from? Huh? What are you, where's he going to be from today? Calabas. Calabas. California. Oh, Myra. Oh, okay. We we introduce him every night from a different town. 